A Boltzmann brain is a hypothesized self-aware entity which arises due to random fluctuations out of a state of chaos. The idea is named for the physicist Ludwig Boltzmann, who advanced an idea that the universe is observed to be in a highly improbable non-equilibrium state because only when such states randomly occur can brains exist to be aware of the universe. The term for this idea was then coined in 2004 by Andreas Ulbricht and Lorenzo Sorbo. The Boltzmann brain's concept is often stated as a physical paradox. The paradox states that if one considers the probability of our current situation as self-aware entities embedded in an organized environment, versus the probability of standalone self-aware entities existing in a featureless thermodynamic soup, then the latter should be vastly more probable than the former. Boltzmann brain paradox the Boltzmann brain's concept has been proposed as an explanation for why we observe such a large degree of organization in the universe. Boltzmann proposed that we and our observed low entropy world are a random fluctuation in a higher entropy universe. Even in a near equilibrium state, there will be stochastic fluctuations in the level of entropy. The most common fluctuations will be relatively small, resulting in only small amounts of organization while larger fluctuations and their resulting greater levels of organization will be comparatively more rare. Large fluctuations would be almost inconceivably rare, but are made possible by the enormous size of the universe and by the idea that if we are the results of a fluctuation, there is a selection bias we observe this very unlikely universe because the unlikely conditions are necessary for us to be here, an expression of the anthropic principle. If our current level of organization, having many self-aware entities, is a result of a random fluctuation, it is much less likely than a level of organization which only creates standalone self-aware entities. For every universe with the level of organization we see, there should be an enormous number of lone Boltzmann brains floating around in unorganized environments. In an infinite universe, the number of self-aware brains that spontaneously and randomly form out of the chaos, complete with false memories of a life like ours, should vastly outnumber the real brains evolved from an inconceivably rare local fluctuation the size of the observable universe. The Boltzmann brain paradox is that any observers are therefore far more likely to be Boltzmann brains than evolved brains. So this refutes evolution in multivices. It also refutes the anthropic principle and even multivices altogether, why should we accept the anthropic principle? or indeed any argument, if it just popped up randomly into a Boltzmann brain. No argument is reliable in a Boltzmann brain universe. Proposed resolutions, one class of solutions to the question of why we don't appear to be Boltzmann brains makes use of differing approaches to the measure problem in cosmology, in infinite multiverse theories, the ratio of normal observers to Boltzmann brain observers depends on how infinite limits are taken. Measures might be chosen to avoid appreciable fractions of Boltzmann brains. Sean M. Carroll and colleagues have suggested that the formulation of the Boltzmann brain problem is mistaken. In particular, they claim that a quiescent de Sitter space does not actually have quantum fluctuations, because quantum fluctuations require time dependent histories of out of equilibrium recording devices, which are absent in stationary states. Given quantum field theory and curved space-time, a patch of de Sitter space can form only a small, finite number of Boltzmann brains as it approaches the vacuum. This argument relies on the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, and other interpretations likely would still yield Boltzmann brains. See also Notes References